Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Skylar Diggins-Smith took to social media to address the limited resources and her perceived lack of support from the WNBA as she took time away to cope with her postpartum depression. She also revealed that she played the entire 2018 season while pregnant. She doesn't say why she chose to keep her pregnancy a secret, but based on the tone of her tweets, we can assume she didn't feel the organization would support her. This highlights a bigger issue in the United States. The fact that we are the only industrialized country that doesn't federally subsidize leave. As career-driven women, how does this reality affect our ability to start a family? Mm -hmm. My goodness. You, you know, it's interesting because you do have women, and I've talked to, you know, a number of friends, and, you know, it, it's challenging when you're ambitious and you have your own personal career goals, but you also care to have a family and, and, and want to experience motherhood. Well, it's just like, which one do I do? You know, mm -hmm. if I... You know, I'm doing well on my job, but if I if I get pregnant, then I'm not going to get that promotion. Right. You know, I'm, I'm, I may not even have a job to come back to. You know, mm -hmm. I know we're showing at some point that it even happened to you. Right. I uh, when I was pregnant with Bailey, um, she's now 12 years old, but I was on maternity leave and I uh, was the head of the morning show there, and so I was, you know, I had a pretty, I played a pretty integral role in this particular. A radio station and I was on maternity leave for maybe like four weeks mm -hmm. and I got a call from my program director to come back to work and I was like uh, no I'm not it was just four weeks in and I later got a follow-up call from HR saying that that was illegal to ask me to come back uh, prior to my six weeks but then I felt like I was punished because after I got back uh, that you know the afternoon guy had taken my job so I um, I totally understand what she feels because you just don't know now in retrospect I didn't think that I was gonna have to endure that you know yeah. everybody was all excited but Rashawn's having a baby it's all on radio and I had five baby showers right but when you when you're trying to adjust to having a child and like I've said on this show before motherhood did not come you know it wasn't all uh, lilies and roses when yeah. Bailey came out I was like what is this she needs me oh my god who are you how do I do this mm -hmm. and it didn't come easily for me so I yeah. think I did I never was diagnosed but I think I did suffer a little bit from postpartum and I just didn't really have know how to navigate that but had I had enough time to figure it out maybe my maybe it would have been different and now I've got friends who are pregnant they're like and they'll post on social media I'm so glad I got such and such such extra times that I can add on to my maternity leave it's like wow you're bringing life into this world and you're populating this entire country and then you don't even get the respect to 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 heal mentally and physically and even bond with your child it's deplorable it's outrageous mm -hmm. uh, um, and as I sit here, just listening to your story, I get mad all over again. Right. I wish I knew you so I could fight somebody. Like, <laughs> right. yeah, I wish, wish I knew so I could fight somebody. Like, right. Um, and and were, you, were you paid when you were off uh, or was it unpaid leave? I, I remember, I think I was paid. No, unpaid I had to like leave. apply for something to be paid yeah. during that time. Because according to FMLA, <sighs> you get 12 weeks. Mm. Of unpaid leave, so actually they were they were definitely it was definitely illegal for them to oh, yeah. come back. Oh, yeah, them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real with you. It would have been a whole um, entire lawsuit. But in the big scope of things, as I just you know look at this entire setup, guys, this is uh, is society doing like a low key attack on women oh, and repro in the reproductive system? The whole situation with abortion in Alabama, just the whole the whole the whole tone of America and how they treat women and mothers. It almost feels like, and this is just my personal opinion, it feels like we're trying to be, we're, we're being coerced into being at home with the kids. It's like they don't want us to be out and having careers and having, you know, I, I may, is it, is it intimidation or do you feel that it's, is messing up the marketplace, that we're messing up the competition? What is, what is it about not wanting women to be working mothers? Yeah. You, it's okay to be a mother. It's okay to be in yeah, the almost, kitchen, barefoot pregnant. Almost having to be one or the other. Exactly. And, it should, and it shouldn't be this way. Exactly. Henceforth, why this young lady continued to, to play, play basketball yes. throughout her entire pregnancy, which I completely disagree with. Me too. Uh, there was so much, there could have been so, so many things that could have happened to that child while she was on the court yeah uh, but 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 maybe she was tr like very like literally afraid yes. to step away from the game mm -hmm. and leave her team because they were non-supportive 
you know, and, and sh maybe she didn't want to upset them. Or yeah. having the pressure saying? to try to say, listen, I can do both. It's yeah. so many women in the workplace yes. that they hide, that they hide their pregnancy, just like we just stated about uh, Skylar. They hide their pregnancy for a long time because they don't want, you, you don't want to be disrespected. You don't want f people to feel like you yes. can't do your job. And then you try to ask for off when you're having morning sickness and then like looking at you crazy. It is, it's awful. When a woman is pregnant, it should be, that's it, that's all. And the, the FMLA needs to be uh, revised mm -hmm. because there needs to be some form of mental help and, and support. I needed it. I think After I need After you it. have the baby. Absolutely. We'd love to hear how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV. We'll be right back. You know another thing, too. People